Hi folks, Chris Young here. You know what? Today, let's go over the many floor plans of Forest Rivers Salem Cruise Light line of travel trailers and toy haulers. The Salem Cruise Light line is Salem's lighter weight line. Now there are some heftier ones, but a majority of the Salem Cruise Light floor plans have a dry weight of under 5,000 pounds. And the overall weight range is from a smidge under 3,100 pounds to slightly over 6,400 pounds. In length, the Salem Cruise Lights fall in from 22 and a half feet up to just over 33 feet. Now, the Salem Cruise Light floor plans are spread across the country with some available in most regions and some exclusive to select regions. Half of the Cruise Light floor plans are bunk models. As such, I'm gonna take you through a tour of these family-focused ones first. The first two, the 19 DBXL and the 220 BHXL, are the most compact and lightest. Each has no slide and a traditional convertible dinette and are virtually identical with double over double bunks on the campsite and a Murphy bed up front. Now, as such, they have enough beds to sleep seven. The next four, the 221 BHXL, 230 BHXL, 241 BHXL, and 243 BHXL all have a living area slide housing a U-shaped dinette. The 221 BHXL and 230 BHXL both have Murphy beds and bunks on the off-camp side, with the 221 BHXL having double over double bunks and the 230 BHXL with stacked twin bunks. As such, the 221 can sleep up to eight, while the 230 can sleep six. The 221 BHXL has an L-shaped kitchen similar to the 241 BHXL and the 243. The 241 and 243 are very similar, with double over double bunks on the campsite and queen beds. The 241 BHXL has pocket doors to make the bedroom private and a large entertainment center. Both of these can sleep up to eight. Now, before we get to the larger Salem Cruise Light bunkhouses, we have one more lightweight, the 240 BHXL. This one has a slide out containing a U-shaped dinette and a nice walk-in pantry, an entertainment center with fireplace, and a second entry going directly into the bathroom. Up front, you'll find a walk-around queen bed, and the bedroom has a solid door for privacy. The 240 BHXL can sleep up to eight. Up next, it's the slide-free 261 BHXL. It's large and without the slide, lightweight. The 261 BHXL has double over double bunks, a kitchen on the off-camp side, dinette and jackknife sofa, an open bedroom with queen bed. The rest of the bunkhouse models all have a slide with the U-shaped dinette and sofa. The 263 BHXL and 271 BHXL are similar with the bunks on the off-camp side, an L-shaped kitchen, bedroom with queen bed and private door, and entertainment center, and two entries with one directly into the bathroom. The 271 BHXL is configured slightly different with the bedroom door in the center of the wall. The 261 BHXL, 263 BHXL, and 271 BHXL can sleep up to eight. The final two bunkhouse layouts are similar as well. The 273 QBXL and 282 QBXL both have a bedroom with queen bed and privacy door, a large entertainment center, L-shaped kitchen, and quad bunks in the back. They only differ in the bunk room layout. The 273 QBXL has the twin bunks set perpendicular to one another, while the 282 QBXL has the traditional parallel quad bunks. Both of them have potential to sleep up to nine. Now I'm gonna move along to the Salem Cruise Light rear bath floor plans. Every one of them are under 5,000 pounds in unloaded weight. Three of them, the 171 RBXL, 190 RBXL, and 241 QBXL do not have a slide. The 171 RBXL has a large bath with a wardrobe closet, dinette, straight line kitchen, and a Murphy bed. It comfortably can sleep three. The 190 RBXL also can sleep three. It's all bathroom on the back wall and has a tall neo angle shower. Up front is the Murphy bed. Now like the 190, the 241 QBXL has the same bathroom layout with the neo angle shower, but adds a jackknife sofa and a queen bed. As such, it can accommodate four tired campers. The final rib bath floor plan is the 212 RBXL. Has a slide containing the U-shaped dinette. 
Now across from it sits a straight line kitchen. Up front, you got the Murphy bed with flanking wardrobe closets. An additional wardrobe closet is found next to the entry door and beside the large bathroom with its Neo angle shower. With the large U-shaped dinette, the 212 RBXL can sleep up to four. Now moving on to the Salem Cruise Light rear living floor plans. First, let's get a good peek at the one without a slide, the 202 RDXL. This model has a convertible dinette and a jackknife sofa in the back and a streamlined kitchen area split with the fridge on the off-camp side wall. Up front, the 202 contains a walk-around queen. Therefore, the 202 RDXL can sleep up to four. The trio of RLXL models, the 24 RLXL, 241 RLXL, and the 254 RLXL, each have a living area slide and each of them can easily sleep up to four. The 24 and the 241 have a U-shaped dinette in their respective slides, while the 254 has a convertible dinette and sofa. The 24 RLXL completes the rear living look with a sofa on its back wall, has an L-shaped kitchen for easy cooking, a walk-through bath leading up to the bedroom with a walk-around queen bed and a solid pocket door for privacy. The 241 RLXL also has the solid door for privacy and a walk-around queen bed, but has a neo-angle shower in the bathroom and a straight line kitchen. The 254 RLXL is the largest of the three. A pair of swivel chairs sits against the back wall to create a homey feel. Adding to that is a well-designed L-shaped kitchen with large pantry. The bathroom is walked through to the bedroom with walk-around queen, pocket door entry to the bathroom, and its own private entry from the outside. Now, a second entry to the 254 RLXL is located near the back by those beautiful swivel chairs. The final rear living floor plan is the only rear kitchen model in the Salem Cruise Light line, the 231 RKXL. It has a living area slide with a sofa, pantry and wardrobe closet, and a straight line kitchen taking all of that back wall. You'll find a tall neo angle shower in the bath, as well as a walk around queen with a solid private door. The 231 RKXL can accommodate up to four tired campers. Now, just when you thought I was done yammering, here comes the Salem Cruise Light line of toy haulers, all of them. The 191 SSXL, 211 SSXL, 251 SSXL, and the 260 RT are available in the western part of our country. Each has no slide outs and a garage space of at least 13 feet deep. They also all have a pair of flip down sofas in the garage space and identical straight line kitchen layouts on the off camp side. The 191 SSXL splits the front wall up with a bathroom and corner full size bed. The 211 and the 251 both have large bathroom with neo angle shower with the 211 having a corner camp queen bed and the 251 has a walk around queen bed. The 260RT is the newest one with its flip down sofas and the queen bed. This model can sleep up to four. Now in the 260RT, you'll find over 13 feet of garage space as well as a walk through bathroom with a radius sky lit shower. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, there you go. Man, does Salem Cruise Light Line give you a ton of choices in floor plans or what? Now, as far as features, you'll find some of them top of the line amenities. Outside, you're gonna have an awning, speakers, solar and backup camera prep, and a power tongue jack, true stabilizer jacks with the JT Strong arms, plus solid step, double step for the main entrance with some models. Once inside, you'll fall in love with the Salem Cruise Light Kitchen, recessed cooktop with a glass cover, and full extension ball bearing drawer guides. The Salem also boasts a 13,500 BTU AC, USB ports in the bedroom and bunk areas, and Shaw linoleum flooring. Yep, that's a ton of info for you right there on the Salem Cruise Light travel trailer and toy haulers. I gotta say though, if you're looking for a solid travel trailer or toy hauler, light on weights, but not on features, please, be sure to check out Forest Rivers Salem Cruise Light.